Well, hey, uh, welcome back. We're doing this again. This is August's month for Caffeine and Legends. Um, this is my second month repping with them for the summer. And I'm so very excited about that. I'm still very excited about my little mini box. Um, make sure if you guys are ever shopping in their shop, I'll link it below. Use my rep code natjo 10 that gets you 10% off of everything in the shop. So make sure you check them out. Um, we're gonna get right into it, mostly because it's hotter than the surface of the sun in this room and I really wanna turn the AC back on. So we're gonna do this. Uh, random side note, look how cute, don't mind my address. Look how cute the uh, tape is for this month. Okay, so, oh my god, there's so much coffee in here. So I'm really excited about this box because she is going to start doing um, the recipe cards again. I don't know if you guys follow her on Facebook. You should. Um, also follow me on Facebook. Um, I, if you want lots of photos of cats doing stupid things and every now and then plants and book stuff, follow me on Instagram. But they're doing, she's doing um, recipe cards for the, I think it's the summer or the rest of the year. I don't remember, but I'm really excited about the recipe cards. Anyway, so August month, their theme was espionage. I'm digging this artwork. Like, I don't know how it relates to the book yet, but it's really cool. So espionage is August's theme. Okay, so like we said, like we said, there's just me. Like, like I said, uh, this month we have some recipe cards for ice cream sandwich blended latte. That sounds delicious an ice cream sandwich latte, which I think is the same thing, just not blended. Okay, coffee, there's so much coffee. So much coffee. Oh, is it like a sampler pack? Oh my God, I think it's like a sampler pack. That's, that's too good. Okay, hold up, hold up. So this is Coffee Junkie, I think is the brand. So we've got, what is this? Almond biscotti flavored. Oh, that sounds delicious. And then we've got, oh, they've got little, okay. So this one's almond biscotti, believe and act as if it were impossible to fail. It has a little uh, caffeinated kindness hashtag. So almond biscotti, uh, heavenly hazelnut. This one says, we don't meet people by accident. They were meant to cross our path for a reason. Then we got vanilla bean ice cream. This one says throw kindness around like confetti. Macadamia, mm, mocha macadamia nut. God, there's so much coffee in here. It might take a year, it might take a day, but what's meant to be will always find a way. And I think the last one, sea salt apple caramel. Oh, that looks delicious. Love opens the door to everything. These little sayings, this little hashtag uh, caffeinated kindness, that's adorable. So we, we have a whopping five, five. Mm, I can smell, I smell coffee. We have a whopping five samplers, which I am so excited about. Uh, I need more coffee in my life. I, total side note, um, if you, I hope you guys follow me on Instagram because I did a funny reel finally. I finally figured out how to reel <laughs> and I did the cold brew, the cold brew coffee kit that is available on Caffeine and Legends now. Oh my God, it's so good. It was a great, side note, great coffee. Okay. <laughs> this is fantastic for so many reasons. Okay, it's an emergency tactical pen. <laughs> oh, the reason I'm laughing so hard is because in my day job, um, there are pens floating around the department that look a lot like this that are Pens and they have like flashlights worked into the like bottom bit of them. I actually have one of those hang on and it like little boing. <laughs> um, And a lot of them have this big fancy Grip I guess I don't even know and like usually it has a handcuff key at the top uh, I'm laughing because it's usually the people that we call tactical, not tactical, tactical. They have those because they're bulky as balls. But anyway, <laughs> random side note, a tactical pen. <laughs> this isn't to hands, is that a window break? It's got a window break at the top. My camera sucks at focusing. It's got a window break up here, which is actually pretty cool. 
You should always have a window break. Here's my PSA for the day. You should always have a window break in your car because you never know when you'll need that thing. Okay, so this has an easy grip, is refillable, heavy duty, and lightweight. Survival tool, smooth riding, self-defense uses, a no-break pocket clip. Air it's aircraft aluminum body. <laughs> tungsten steel, wow. <laughs> oh, the, the glass breaker is tungsten steel, okay. <laughs> For use in self-defense against any attackers or a glass breaker. <laughs> this is the funniest pen ever. <laughs> Which, knowing that the theme is espionage, I, this, I, this is killing me. I love it. Also, uh, tell me this guy does not look like Mr. Monopoly. Is that his name? I don't know what his name would be if it's not Mr. Monopoly, but he looks like that. <laughs> this guy looks like that guy. <laughs> All right. Um, ooh. The book looks cool. Oh, I forgot! This is the one that had the author letter. That's super cool. So we got a signed book plate. Which, I don't know what to do with these. I know you're supposed to put them in the book. And coming from a person who dog ears and folds book corner pages all the time, sticking a sticker in my book just seems really sacrilegious. <laughs> Which is so, uh, I mean, whatever, it's me. So I need a good suggestion on what to do with all these book plates because I feel like sticking it in the book is weird. So help me out. Why well, need a good alternative use for my book plates? But I can fold pages, but I can't stick on I can't put stickers on them. So signed book plate, and then there is a author letter from the author. Okay, wait, hang on. I want, I want to read this. It's long, so I'm not going to read it out loud. You only get you only get one public reading moment for me per video. That's super adorable. Uh, she's talking about how the book is an environmental story about looking at the future with hope, and sharing and caring and and the human story, and it's adorable. That's, that's really cool. Okay, and then the book. This is a gorgeous cover. Notes from a Burning Age? From the Burning Age? Notes from the Burning Age, which is so... I don't know if Caffeine and Legends planned that on purpose, or if the author's clairvoyant, but it is hot. Everything's on fire. The sky's full of smoke. I don't like it, so this is... Uh, Extremely appropriate. <laughs> so notes from the burning age by Claire North. So, all right, <clears throat> this is a, this is the time for the uh, public reading section in this video. Okay. Ven was once a holy man, a keeper of ancient archives. It was his duty to interpret archaic texts, sorting useful knowledge from the heretical ideas of the burning age, a time of excess and climate disaster. Uh, for in Venn's world, such material must be closely guarded so that the ills that led to that cataclysmic era can never be repeated. But when the Revolutionary Brotherhood approaches him, pressuring him to translate stolen writings that threaten everything he once held dear, his life will be turned upside down. I just had to pause for the sirens because the fire department was rolling by my street. This video is just hitting up on the nose, isn't it? Okay, sorry. Um, his life will be turned upside down. Torn between friendship and faith, Ven must decide how far he's willing to save this new world and how much he's willing to use. Oh, how far he'll go to save this new world. I like that the fires, the fires, I like that the cover, so at first I thought they were all just flowers, but it's actually flowers in flame, which is super cool. I, I can't, this cover is a lot more, a lot more, a lot more minimalistic than I normally go for, but something about the color tone and like the scheme of everything, it's just gorgeous. Like, look at the spine, look how pretty that is. I want to know if it's based like on Earth or if it's a um, fantasy based land. I still can't just get over this cover. It is just the, something about the reds and blues, man. It's just so pretty. Oh, spoiler card. Okay, I can read the spoiler card. God, I remember the spoiler card. Okay. That's so interesting. Tales of Espionage. Doesn't sound like an espionage book. Did I miss something? I'm excited. Okay, hang on. I gotta see how this all pits, fits together. Okay. So the uh, spoiler card says, 
If you close your eyes and imagined an environmental utopia, what would it look like? Claire North dreams up a world just like this in Notes from the Burning Age. With a fresh take on a post-apocalyptic society, um, threats of conspiracy take this fantasy into the realm of being a thriller that packs an emotional punch. Ooh, it's exciting. Okay, so the Coffee and Tea Junkie is our coffee people of the box. It was a perfect time for a sampling because they dreamed up so many different unique and flavorful flavors. Flavorful flavors. Um, for those of you who got the tea, your tea would have been white sage and wild mint tea. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Made by uh, Juniper Ridge. So the main character, Ven, is skilled in translating ancient texts and must decide how far he's willing to go as a spy. Oh, that's cool. As a spy? For the Brotherhood, then? Is that what it is? That's exciting. Um, we wanted to send some gear that would be useful with your day-to-day -day life that could get you out of a sticky situation. It's adorable. Um, this tactical pen was made by Trixie and Milo encompasses, encompasses all these things. It's useful and it has it is strong enough to shatter glass and it has a standard refillable ink cartridge so you can use it over and over. I mean that is a really cool pen. That is August's month for Caffeine and Legends. We got, I'm really excited about this book. I'm excited that he's a spy. I was waiting to see how he kind of like played in. So when the Revolutionary Brotherhood approaches him, pressuring him to translate stolen writings that threaten everything he wants held dear, his life will be turned upside down. So does he have to steal the writings or does someone else steal them and that makes him go and spy for something else? Or is it what he finds in the writings that causes him to spy? I want to know more. If I read the book, I would know more. I'm excited for this. It's kind of been a minute since I read a good dystopian. It doesn't look like a dystopian book though, does it? It looks like a freaking like Jane Austen thing. <laughs> Words fail. So that's August box. We've got an awesome drink recipe card. Very excited to try that. We got five coffees. I mean, they're samplers, but they're not like tiny samplers. So that's exciting. I mean, that's like at least one cup. Depends on how strong you want your coffee walk, I guess. Okay. Thanks for joining. I will see you guys on the next one.